Hey guys, how are you? I'm a little bit late. I was just late getting off a call. Late getting off a call. But I'm here now. How are we doing? How are we doing? I don't know what's wrong with my frame. I think I normally tilt it down a little bit and then I, that's better, less roof. And then I get a little bit lower. There we go, awesome. Um, here we are. <laughs> Here we are, on with a rush. It is Chat with Matt. It is the 11th of March. It's March, 2020. Here we are, 11th of March. It was full moon, um, 26 hours ago, 27 hours ago. Whew, so we're past that, but it's still, there's <laughs> still a bit of intensity in the air. Um, so yeah, it's Chat with Matt. We've got half an hour to um, talk about whatever you want. I think there was something written in ahead of time um, I haven't spent a lot of time on my computer this morning because I had an early call. Chat with Matt, that's on, so I can dismiss that. Let's just jump over here. My friends. Um, yeah, I don't need that. I need this group. Bright light facilitators. Here we go. Here it comes. In the meantime, hey, Steph. Hey. Oh, you're going to have to give me some... Pierre Carla is the last part. Pierre Carla. Pierre Carla. Hopefully I pronounced your name <laughs> correctly, my friend. Um, yeah, to Italy, right? Italy's bloody being locked down with this crazy virus thing. How amazing. Um, get some of that into me. Um, yeah, definitely holding space for Italy. Stephanie and Gary, how are you doing? And anyone else? Um, I'm open for questions, right? So please uh, hit me up, write something. I am just scrolling through here because I, um, as always, I put out uh, an invitation for questions ahead of time. Here it is. Chat with Matt's on in 11 hours. Sister Louise from the UK um, wrote in and said, thank you. Hope I'll be doing Qigong class. Awesome. Um, at that time, so I'll catch the replay. Don't suppose, that's always an interesting way to start a question, isn't it? Don't suppose. Um, so yes, requesting if you could share a light language message. Oh, I don't usually do that on these, but I'll consider it. With us for strengthening our resolve to be, in capital letters, here and allow whatever we came to do to clarify itself for each of us. I'll definitely talk to this and we may well do a light language session. Um... I love the I love the request in general, but <clears throat> this is what I know. This is what I feel anyway. What I know. Um, this is what I feel because what I know will keep changing. But at this stage, what I feel to say in response to that, um, I'll just hone in on the phrase: strengthening our resolve to be here and allow whatever we came to do to clarify itself. In my opinion, what we what is going to serve us is to get beyond needing. Too much clarity, too much clarity. Um, our egoic self wants more clarity before we're willing to act, before we're willing, and, and by act, it's kind of like we're here to be, right? So, because that was the first thing. Could you share a lot like, to strengthen our resolve to be, our resolve to be, um, which is also interesting. Naturally, we just be. We have a resolve. Our resolve is really to act in alignment with what we be. Right, which is what you're really asking, right? Because resolve to be, it's your resolve to act in alignment. I saw that, Gary, I will get back to it. Hey, Sister Anna. Um, so your resolve to act in alignment with how you be and your basically your resolve to honor who you be. So it's for you to get out of the, for all of us, I'm talking, this is not just for Louise, but to get out of the, the habit, right? Or the energetic um, influence that keeps us questioning who we be or needing to prove who we be. In other words, um, our resolve to really sit in our authentic confidence with who we be. Because we already be it, right? You don't need more resolve to be. You need more resolve to relax, relax into expressing who you be, right? Because we already be it. It's just most of us are maintaining facades and different personas over the top of that to varying degrees and varying... <laughs> it's complicated, right? We, we're a complicated mess of, of emotional coping mechanisms. Most of us, right, are a complicated mess of emotional coping mechanisms 
um, to greater or lesser degree. All of us, me included, right? I don't pretend that I am just being myself in any particular moment. And most of the time, I don't even know what I be, right? I only get glimpses of what I be. And that's an ever evolving um, understanding of what I be in, in deeper meditative experiences or lucid moments where the clouds sort of part as I'm staring out into the ocean or some such, um, some such moment. But in terms of strengthening our resolve, it's our resolve to act in that alignment. It's our resolve to choose to move beyond the discomfort that we feel based on fragments of energy, trauma and pain that we're carrying from our past, distant or this lifetime um, that, is, that is maintaining these coping mechanisms or these personas or these you know, try and do what we think we should, what we think we should do in order to be good, right and proper in some way, in order to meet the expectations of society, our family, our our own indoctrination. Uh, so we all do, you know, it's a great, a great uh, request really, because we all do need help with strengthening our resolve to um, find that act, uh, that that ability to act. Yeah, Gary, very few. Well, I, we, both Marie and I didn't sleep very well last night. Um, the, the moon was full on, right? Super moon, super full moon. And I did a light language experience down at the yoga center, which always, you know, reasonably late at night, doesn't finish till late 30 at night or quarter past eight at night. So I'm already buzzing. Um, it takes quite a while to, to relax out of that. And so sleep was reasonably um, broken. <laughs> Use that word. Can't say that I feel terrible this morning because I don't. But um, definitely aware that sleep wasn't so um, so plentiful. Hey, hey, brother, Rich, how are you? So let's, uh, I'll just move back to what you asked before, Gary. And I will, we'll loop back, Louise. Um, I'm holding intention that we're going to do some light language. <laughs> My God, uh, we'll see how we go with that. I probably should have put a bit of microphone on because I don't know how my camera, my phone will handle, my phone microphone will handle light language, but we'll see. I'm trying to see more here, Gary. That's why I'm poking my screen. There we go, got it. I was intrigued by your comments regarding marketing one's own story as most potent, as the most potent selling element of any enterprise. Mm, depends on the enterprise. I wouldn't say of any enterprise, but of, for heart-based facilitators, people like me and people who, uh, you know, want to who work one-on-one -on -one with people to to um to help them, um then then the story is really important because people are looking for a relationship with you or with me, right? I'll talk about myself, right? People want to have a relationship with me before they're going to be willing to trust me enough to to invest in, in my services, especially in services that are going to, you know, be relatively vulnerable for them, right? They're going into a healing experience or a transformational experience. They want to, they want to, they want to know who's guiding them on that. It's very hard for people just to, you know, look at your a, a list of testimonials and think, oh, well, it's worked for other people to work for me and I'm, I'm just going to do it. Most people want to feel into my energy as, as to someone who they inherently feel that they can trust. To help them do that, you need to divulge stuff about yourself. And it's not just the story that you tell, it's the way that you tell the story, right? It's the, it's the, it's the energetic experience that people have. It, it, it's a feeling that they get inside them as they're reading your content. So the richer your content, the more involved you get in telling your story, um, and the more of your own heart you put into it, the more likely it is that you're going to get people who align with you, who really are aligned with you. Who people? You, sorry, I'll say that another way. You get people who are willing to go further with you, invest with you, who are really aligned with you, and that's important for them for their own benefit that they get from your services. But it's also important for me because I want to work with people who I like. <laughs> First and foremost, right? I'm, I put my hand up. I'm selfish. I want to work with people who I enjoy working with. I don't want to just work with people because they're going to pay me. That's dumb, right? That is really not how I'm doing business today. 
I want to work with people. I want to have people who invest with me who really feel a resonance with me because I know I'm going to enjoy working with them first and foremost. And that's really important for me because if I, I know from the past, if I start working with people who don't resonate with me, my energy drops because it feels like hard work trying to get them a result. If there's no real alignment and I'm pushing shit uphill and I don't really like them. Um, and then all of my clients suffer. And, and my business suffers if my energy drops because I'm in the business of being high vibration, right? I'm in the business of inspiring people into being their best selves. So it's really important for me um, that I tell my story um, in so that I help people choose whether they like me or not. I let them choose whether they like me or not because I tend to find that if people like me, I tend to like them, right? Because it's a two-way street, this alignment thing. And that's my intention, right? To attract people who really uh, enjoy me and thus I'll enjoy them and thus we can work really in, innately together, really naturally together to get good results for whatever's going on in their life. <clears throat> so I'm glad that that's given you um, a fresh look at, ha at, at how you market your own product, Gary. Because, you know, and it's the same for you in a way, right? Because a lot of people who... Um, I'll get back to where we're up to. Yeah. Yeah, and a, and a headache's absolutely normal, <laughs> absolutely fine uh, for, for, for full moon type events. But um, maybe I'll try and find this stream here. So here we go. So I can read it off this screen. Um, Yeah, so so exactly telling your story as as the as the as how you formulated your you know your product your dog food product uh, or supplement product. I'm not sure if it's food or if it's just a supplement, right? I think it's just a supplement that you add to their food, right? Um, so um, being willing to to get personal about that because I believe more than ever in today's energies, right? Today's you know, as more and more of the divine feminine is coming in and the shadow masculine authoritarian power that, you know, my product's fantastic, just vote for me, it's great, look, here, it works for everyone else, you know, you should just, you know, rah, rah, rah. That way of marketing is falling away because today in the, in the more of the feminine energy, people are looking for community, people are looking for collaboration, people are looking for relationship, right? Femininity is about relationship. Masculinity is about authority. It's, it's about more than that, right? But the shadow masculine in particular that's ruled this planet for a long time has ruled through the, you know, the process of authority. This is the rule. This is how you do it. This is you know, right, wrong, right? Dichotomy. Now we're moving much more fluidly into community and, and, and relationship. So I think people are more and more interested, especially awoken people, are more and more interested in doing business, all sorts of business, whether it's buying a dog food supplement or whether it's investing in a sound healing or whatever they're much more interested in working with people who they feel that they have a relationship with and a relationship that means something to them um <clears throat> and and i think we're seeing that i think we'll see people move away from big box stores and go back to family-owned businesses i think we'll see more and more of that happening as people start to recognize that there's more important things to them than just getting the cheapest price on anything um, so awesome, Gary. I love that. I love, um, change the way that you look at re-imaging, reimagining, um, your, and, and your, and to value your own story, right? Um, because it is very common for us to doubt, as you said, it's very common for us to doubt the, the validity of our own story and the importance of our own story. And you start to think, well, people don't care about me, they just want a great product. And therefore I should put all of the emphasis on how great the product is. But I don't believe, my personal opinion is, that we're leaving that behind. That was the 80s and the 90s where the more bling around the product, the better. <clears throat> and no one really wanted to know about the person behind the product. I think that's changing, changing, changing very quickly. Um, I also think that it's changing very much with uh, quote unquote therapists as well. Whereas in the 80s and the 90s, and I'm using that sort of genre and it's carried through the noughties as well and the teens, um, you know, people expected their therapist to be completely removed and they just went for the therapy and, and the therapist had no personality in the experience, right? It was just the process and they kept very, very distant. Um, I don't believe that's working so well today. I think people 
need to have a relationship with someone that they're calling on for transformational work so that they can relax into the experience. And I know for myself that I have the best experiences with clients when I really open up and share in a in an intimate way, in a vulnerable way, my own experiences, because that helps my clients relax into deeper alignment with me rather than me taking on the therapist hat, whereas I'm just listening to you and then telling you how to fix yourself, right? <laughs> or telling you, asking you questions and, and it's all about you, you, you. I think today, um, all sorts of healing and heart-centered facilitation happens much better when we allow relationship to build um, which requires us as facilitators or as product owners to be more vulnerable, right? It, it, it requires us to be much more vulnerable, but in doing so, it, it, it opens up a rich tapestry of experience. <clears throat> yeah, and of course, we have to be, that vulnerability is, is fear of failure and rejection, right? Having people hear our story and then, and then reject us. And like, I get streams of it every day comes through in, you know, people who basically read my content online and then and then have a stab at it right and and want to um you know put some nasty comment on facebook because somehow that builds their ego up you know damaged people um want to cut pe other people down to make themselves feel better which is you know great and it, it's no big it's no big deal to me because i know these people are never going to be my clients right they're not going to be my clients so you have to be willing to put your story out there um, to attract your best clients. The best clients have long lifetime value. You're not trying to get a one-term hit. You're not just trying to sell them one bag of, of your dog supplement. You're looking for a lifetime commitment from these people because they stand behind you, Gary, and they know that you're offering a, um, a very high value product, right? That has not just great ingredients in it, but has a pure intent behind it, right? Your intention, your love, that's in that product. The reason you created that product is is what is what they're buying, right? They're buying a bit of that, and that love that's behind your product is helping their puppy, their dog, right? Because that's how energy works, right? Everything is just vibrating molecule, vibrating bits of nothing. <laughs> so it's all just energy. Um, keep that going in. It's all just vibrating bits of energy. So, <sighs> it's true, Sandhya. They want to know us. They want to see us. You know, you have to be willing. You know, Gary, for you doing live streams um, out there to your potential market would be great. Or, or at least doing video ads on Facebook, right? And you can target dog owners. You can target people in, you, you know, in New Zealand or wherever you want to distribute to first. Um and you you could target other categories too the the people who who you feel are your best clients around this especially at first and put video ads out there talking about you know um with Sally is it I'm trying to remember Sally the super dog um but you know be willing and, and to talk about Sally and your journey with Sally and why you developed this product and what's in it and and you know two two minute long video uh, would be an awesome um thing would be an awesome thing. Um, and, and basically what you want to present is not just this product is fantastic, but I'm so passionate about this product because, right, my love for, for dogs and my love for all dogs and my love for people and their relationship with dogs because it's more than just caring for the dogs. You actually care for the people who own dogs and, you're care, and you, you care about the relationship that people have with dogs as a healing modality itself, right? You are looking to improve... So I get it right, Sally the Super Dog? I'm trying to read, yes, yeah, Sally the Super, the Wonder Dog, sorry. Super Sally the Wonder Dog. <laughs> I knew there was super in there. Uh, I can't claim that my memory's that good. But, um, but, you know, because the point is that some of the most healing relationships people have on this planet is with their dogs or with their fur babies in general, right? That's, you could say it's a sad truth, but it's definitely a truth that people get a lot of companionship and a lot of healing and a lot of understanding and a lot of unconditional love through the relationship they have with dogs or any pet that they can't seem to manage because of the complexities in, in their human relationships. So to give people something that they can, and I think this is in your tagline, right? I remember reading it, 
Um, you're allowed. You're allowed to cry, Gary. We're releasing energy that's holding you back from doing what you need to do to get this product out there, right? And it's not just about you being successful. It's about you helping people and being purposeful on this planet. Um, but you've got it there, right? This is something. Um, I think your tagline was something around, um, and I've forgotten, but it's something around, you know, giving giving the ones that you love something valuable, right? And so this is about allowing people to invest in the relationship they have with their animal um, by giving them a supplement that's really going to help the health and thus the happiness of their of their animal. It's not just about helping their animal live longer. It's about helping their animal live better, right? Less joint pain, um, better, better, better happiness in in their life because that's what people want the most, right? They want their someone that they love to be happy. That's what we all want. Whether it's our children, whether it's our spouse, whether it's our parents, whether it's our friends, or whether it's our animals, we want the things that we love to be happy. So. Um, so that's what your product does, right? And that's your messaging. This is something that they can invest in. It's not a cheap investment. It's a premium product that helps them give something to their animals that's going to make their animals happy or help their animals be happy because it's going to reduce their pain and um, increase the, the ease at which they live their life. So that story, my friends, because this is a you know this is a group mainly for facilitators, but, but but it's the same, right? This is all of us how we deliver our 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 products and our services. We have to get into the why are we doing it? Why are we why are we selling our sound healing, Sandia? Right? It's not just to make fucking money because if you're in this to make money, you're in the wrong group for a start. But I'm not saying we can't earn money, but it's not our driving force, right? Our driving force is 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 it from our heart? It's living our purposeful life in helping others live their purposeful lives, right? And helping other people live their um Happiness. I've got to apologize because I'm doing a shit job at reading the stuff as it flows through. Uh, I'm in a rave, <laughs> in case you can't tell. I'm raving right now and uh, that uh, I had trouble reading. Yes, that's right. Help is what you give to what you love. I'd love to change that, that second what, Gary. It's what you give to... I don't want to say who you love, right? Um... Because I don't think most people would think that their pet is a what. Anyway, I'll leave that with you. I just I think it would be more personal if it's, it's what you give to who you love. Sounds better too. What you give to what you love. Anyway, I don't know. You've probably got labels printed and all the rest of it. But isn't, everything could be changed. Um, oh. um, right. I can't. I didn't promise, but I basically said um, in response to Louise's question. For those of you who got on later in this rave, I started talking about something that Louise asked earlier, which is I'm going to read the question again, and then we're going to do some light language, believe it or not. And I'll apologise for anyone who asked the question while I was raving and I missed it. Um, I'll read it. I'll read through these afterwards. Although I have got another call happening in just a moment. It's what you give to those you love. Yeah. It's what you give to those you love. I almost like those who you love still. But yeah, I can go with that. It's what you give to those you love. Definitely better than what you love. Those you love. Yep. It's what you give to who you love. It's what you give to those you love. Yeah, that's fine. It's, I think it's better than what you give to what you love, Gary, anyway. Um, and I can't pretend to be a copywriter or anything else. I just go with the vibration of, of stuff. Anyway, um... What was I doing? I was looking for Louise's question, which I've given to part. Here we go. Chat with Matt. Um, can you do a... Could you do? Could you share a light language message for us for sh strengthening our resolve to be here and allow whatever we came to do, whatever we came to do, to clarify itself for each of us? So... Um, <clears throat> Yeah, we can we can dance around whether it's those or who, Gary. Um, but it's definitely better than what. Um, anyway, so as I was talking to this question before, what I'm going to encourage with this light language session is more than just clarifying what we came to do, because I know the mind really wants clarity. But honestly, what's going to serve us is to have the courage and the conviction and the dedication to step 
into doing to acting in alignment with who we be rather than needing to have clarity, right? Because the clarity is what our mind wants. I understand that many of us are feeling fears and doubts and confusions at the moment because there's a shit ton of, I was going to say the F word, um, there's a shit ton of, of fear in, in, the, in the unified field at the moment and especially in our societal fear fields. And as uh, you know, s- someone, um, Pierre Carla, uh, mentioned at the start, please pray for, for Italy, right? Which has basically been shut down by this virus thing, this crazy beer virus. <laughs> Sorry to make light of it, but really, who would, who would, who would name a virus after beer? <laughs> um, it's important that we laugh, right? Even though it's a reasonably serious situation the virus itself i don't believe is so serious but the situation is serious that we're being so manipulated by fear and our society is buying into it so inherently and some of the other shit that might be behind all of this like the 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 5g radiation and the various geoengineering and whether this was a man-made thing and what you know the population control all of that all of that all of that has relevance but at the end of the day us as light beings are here to stand strong. Anyway, I'm going to do a light language session. I'm running out of time. Um, and it's only going to be like five minutes of light language, my friends. Five minutes of light language, basically to help us all strengthen our ability to be confident in ourselves, to really just allow ourselves to be very present and then to feel without necessarily having the full mental clarity to feel how best to act in any particular situation right not needing the clarity of of why we came to be here so that we can set some five-year plan out or even one year plan out on how to how to achieve this mythical idea of our purpose on the planet our purpose is really to be expansive in the now moment our purpose is really to be here authentically confident and aligned with our beingness in any particular now moment rather than and and the clarity is really just the ability to see it in the now moment and act rather than clarity to get the big picture of my purpose and then to set in some motion, some intellectual plan to getting there. And I know egoically, we all want that. We all want that clarity. We all want that security or that foundation of knowing that this is how I'm working through these steps to get a certain way. But the way that the world is right now, energetically, I'm just trying to get rid of shit off my screen. Um, there's so much, um, there's so much change in the air that really that level of clarity and that level of planning is not appropriate right now. We must be, must be, must be much more willing to flow with what is and our purpose is really to flow with it and to just keep expressing ourselves in expansive ways rather than to get too caught up in, I'm here to, quote unquote, write the book and do, yeah, thank you, calendar. Um, (laughs) I've got another call coming soon. Um, Um... you know, rather than to get too caught up in the plan. Anyway, let's do some light language, my friends. I don't normally do this on video. Uh, To stand in my sovereign light, living my divine, by divine design. Thank you, Manu, that's awesome, right? To stand in sovereign light and living by divine design. And understand that divine design is also evolutionary. It's also dynamic. It's not that, you know, God, some greater power has set a plan for us and then that's it and we're just going to robotically follow that it's it's always shifting because we all have free will and we all need to be willing to accommodate everyone else's free will anyway here we go take some deep breaths my friends allow yourself to relax allow yourself to fall into a space we're holding an energetic intention to bring through some language is just going to open up a space where you can really connect in more deeply with the alignment with who you truly be and really find a level of confidence to act in expansive ways in each moment of now in alignment with that beingness and to basically allow us to shake out the fragments of fear and the doubt that's really influencing our ability to do that which is really keeping us small keeping us limited keeping us reacting from fear and doubt in ourselves Oh, <sighs> crrr. 
kadar şamlı gidi var öyle bir 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 başamlı gidi kadar var o kadar 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 şamlı gidi köy mekan öte o kadar kadar şamlı gidi kadar var öyle bir 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 öte kadar kadar şişi şamlı gidi kadar mantar ay kadar o kadar ama o kadar kadar şamlı gidi kadar var var öyle bir 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 şişi şamlı gidi köy ay kadar o kadar ay kadar kadar şamlı gidi kadar var var öyle bir 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 o kadar ama kadar bir 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 başamlı gidi şamlı gidi köy mekan öte o kadar kadar öte kadar kadar şamlı gidi kadar relax o kadar kadar şamlı gidi kadar breathe and relax o kadar ne kadar öte kadar kadar şamlı gidi kadar o kadar kadar şamlı gidi kadar into this energetic space o kadar kadar şamlı gidi kadar var öte kadar şamlı gidi kadar relax into allowance and acceptance ko ko tuk tuk ki shabdi ki ka the intensity of this experience right now ko ko tuk ki shabdi ki ka not the intensity of the light language but the intensity of the ko ko tuk tuk ki shabdi ki ka cosmos energy ko ko tuk ki shabdi ki ka ro tuk ki shabdi ki ka the influence of the moon ko ko tuk ki shabdi ki ka various astrological events ko ko tuk ki shabdi ki ka mercury and this and that ko ko tuk tuk ki shabdi ki ka and also the man made experience that you're having ko ko tuk tuk ki bar tuk tuk ki shabdi ki ka ko tuk tuk ki shabdi ki ka and the societal energies of the of the present moment ko ko tuk tuk ki shabdi ki ka ko tuk tuk ki shabdi ki ka it all is what it is ko ko tuk tuk ki shabdi ki ka your judgment of it won't change anything ko ko tuk tuk ki shabdi ki ka for the better ko ko na ko tuk tuk ki shabdi ki ka so relax ko ko tuk tuk ki shabdi ki ka relaxing through the process of acceptance ko ko tuk tuk ki shabdi ki ka ko tuk tuk ki shabdi ki ka so that you can best harness what's available to you ko ko tuk tuk ki shabdi ki ka and work with an empowered way ko ko tuk tuk ki shabdi ki ka ro tuk tuk ki ro tuk tuk ki ka shabdi ki ka to achieve your highest result ko ko tuk tuk ki shabdi ki ka which doesn't need to be measured ko ko tuk tuk ki shabdi ki ka in traditional success terms ko mo lu tuk tuk ki shabdi ki ka en ko tuk ro bel 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 mo ro bel 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 ro tuk tuk ki shabdi ki ka mo ro ro tuk tuk ki shabdi ki ka mo ro o tuk ki shabdi ki ka your purpose ko ko tuk tuk ki shabdi ki ka e ko tuk tuk ki shabdi ki ka is to authentically express yourself ko ko tuk ki shabdi ki ka self with the capital s ko ko tuk tuk ki shabdi ki ka e ko tuk tuk ki shabdi ki ka you don't need to mentally know yourself ko ko tuk tuk ki shabdi ki ka to achieve that ko ko tuk tuk ki shabdi ki ka e ko tuk tuk ki shabdi ki ka as we more and more connect with divine feminine energies ko ko tuk tuk ki shabdi ki ka mer ro ki shabdi ki ka the the need to mentalize anything ko ko tuk ki shabdi ki ka is becoming less less ko ko tuk ki shabdi ki ka and rather we go to tuk ki shabdi ki ka ro tuk ki shabdi ki ka we look to develop heart connection ko ko tuk ki shabdi ki ka e ko tuk ki shabdi ki ka intuitive knowing ko ko tuk tuk ki shabdi ki ka to act in the moments of now ko ko tuk ki shabdi ki ka to follow inspiration ko ko tuk tuk ki shabdi ki ka into action ki ko tuk tuk ki ba ro tuk tuk ki shabdi ki ka en ko tuk ro pali do tuk ki shabdi ki ka mer ro tuk ki shabdi ki ka ko tuk tuk ki shabdi ki ka e ko tuk ro pali do tuk ki shabdi ki ka mer ro tuk tuk ki shabdi ki ka mer ro ro le le tuk ki shabdi ki ka mer ro ro le 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 shabdi ki ka en ko tuk ro ma tuk ki shabdi ki ka mer ro ro tuk ki shabdi ki ka mer ro ro le 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 mo ki shabdi ki ka mer ro ro le 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 shabdi ki ka en ko tuk ro le tuk ki shabdi ki ka mer ro ro le 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 tuk ki shabdi ki ka relax ko ko tuk ki shabdi ki ka out of perfection mentality ko ko tuk ki shabdi ki ka relax ko ko tuk ki shabdi ki ka out of the duality of of success and failure right and wrong ko ko tuk tuk ki shabdi ki ka good and bad ko ko tuk tuk ki shabdi ki ka e ko tuk ki shabdi ki ka lay yourself to find freedom ka ko tuk ki shabdi ki ka from the concept of making a mistake ko ko no ko tuk tuk ki shabdi ki ka for the only real mistake you can make ko ko tuk ki shabdi ki ka is to be paralyzed in non action ka ko tuk tuk ki shabdi ki ka e ko tuk tuk ki shabdi ki ka mer mer tuk tuk mer tuk ki shabdi ki ka ko tuk tuk mer tuk tuk ki shabdi ki ka be willing to act ko ko tuk tuk ki shabdi ki ka e ko tuk ki shabdi ki ka hold your intention to act in alignment with what you be ko ko tuk tuk ki shabdi ki ka even though you don't know intellectually what you be ko ko tuk tuk ki shabdi ki ka trust that you'll get to know who you be through the actions that you choose to take from the intention of aligning with who you be ko ko tuk ki shabdi ki ka Ako tuk tuk shabdi ki ka put the horse before the cart ko ko tuk shabdi ki ka ek tuk shabdi ki ka it's the opposite to how you've been trained ko ko tuk tuk shabdi ki ka allow your actions to intuitively ko ko tuk tuk shabdi ki ka take you into deeper wisdom ko ko tuk shabdi ki ka of the beingness that you be ko ko tuk tuk shabdi ki ka ek tuk tuk shabdi ki ka bar bar o tuk tuk shabdi ki ka as you relax into that beingness ko ko tuk tuk shabdi ki ka ek tuk tuk shabdi ki ka you will know yourself ko ko tuk shabdi ki ka through the actions that you take ko ko tuk tuk shabdi ki ka rather than thinking that you need to know who you are before you can take the actions ko ko tuk tuk shabdi ki ka slowly but surely ko ko tuk shabdi ki ka shift the power from the mind ko ko tuk tuk shabdi ki ka into your heart ko ko tuk tuk shabdi ki ka ek tuk tuk shabdi ki ka it's not that the mind will be 
redundant. Kokutu shall be kitika. It's an important aspect of us. Kokutu shall be kitika. It just has too much power at the moment. Kokutu shall be kitika, and it's choking you. Kakutu kokutu shall be kitika. Eko tokutu shall be kitika. Vera vera o tikele bide bide vera o tikele bide shishi shall be kitika. Above all, my friends, kokutu shall be kitika. Trust that you are loved and supported every step of the way. Kokutu shall be kitika. You are innately worthy and deserving, just as you be. Kokutu shall be kitika. There's nothing you need to prove to God, source, or universe. Allow yourself to real act in alignment with your worthiness. Be confident in that. You won't feel confident in it. Understand that you'll feel a lot of resistance. But be confident. Act despite the resistance that you're feeling. Act despite the discomfort that you're feeling. And your life will be successful. You are loved and supported every step of the way, my friends. And so it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Namaste, my friends. I greet the divine being in you all. Mm. I've probably gone super over time. I'm not too bad, 938. Um, okay, my friends. I have to scoot because I've got um I've got my Q&A coming up in a moment for the bright light client attraction process. Uh <clears throat> and I need to just <laughs> <laughs> Let's just get my head around that, and I need to uh, potentially take some sustenance um, before that call starts in a couple of minutes. Uh, what was I about to say? Yeah, reach out. I reach out. I know there's more questions. I know I probably didn't answer everything on this on this thing. We'll be back next week. I apologize for not being here last week. I was kind of knocked out by the the <laughs> energies that I was experiencing, um, and I just needed to to hibernate. For a little while, uh, hermitize myself um, just to cope with what's going on. That happens. It happens for all of us. Don't make yourself wrong. Um, I'm very much pro showing up and being out there in the world. But if if I can't, then I don't. <laughs> right? And there's no point beating myself with a stick for, for not being able to. Right? We have to be compassionate as we walk this journey with ourselves. All of us. None of us are perfect. Um, perfection is a you know. Well, we're all perfect, but none of us are perfect from this mind space. Um, yeah, if you, if you feel that I can help you in some other way, right? I do personal sessions with people. I've got ongoing groups, some very low investment level, some more moderate investment level, um, depending on who you are and what you really need. Um, ask me, right? Ask me how I can, how I can serve you because I am here to serve, here to serve all of you in whatever way is appropriate. I'm happy to serve, uh, lots of people in forums like this for free, but I've also got ways that you can invest. Um, so be willing, right? If that's what you feel would really serve you. Um, sometimes investment's really, really powerful. Uh, yeah, and I look forward to um, continuing these conversations. Um, be willing to post something in this group as well. If you have a specific question that you feel the answer could serve a lot of people, then ask, make a, make a separate post of it and pop it in there and I'll, I'll put the answer in in some way. It may be a, a short video or it may be typed. Um, for me, sometimes video is a much more effective way, efficient way, because I'm so slow at typing, uh, of answering people. So um, yeah, self-care is really important. Sandhya. Um, wow, well, the tone just changed in my head. Anyway, I've got to, <laughs> I've got to move. I've got to get going. Uh, much, much love to you all. Namaste. Let's keep the conversations going. We're here to support you. I know there's a lot of fear and a lot of contraction out there in the society and in our lives. Um, but choose, my friends, not to buy into it as best you can. And if you need support, then, then call on community that you may have available to you, whether it's this community um, some other community, right? It's time. We all, you know, the highest level, I've been talking a lot about empowerment. I've got a, I've got a new thing on empowerment coming out. I've been very, very slow getting it out. It's been very, very fucking hard, to be honest, for me to get it out. 
Um, but one of the greatest points that came through in that new thing on empowerment is the highest level of empowerment is not self-sufficiency, right? Uh, and that's something that I've had to deal with because I've made myself very self-sufficient in a lot of ways. But really what we're all being called to do right now is to, is to join in community. Um, and that is the highest level of empowerment for us to work in interconnected community where we are all giving our best and receiving at the same time because it's all very well to keep giving, giving, giving. But if you're not receiving, you're not giving other people the opportunity to give. And that's really, really important, right? It's not a, it's not a land. We're, we're moving away from the diversity, the division of givers and takers and allowing ourselves to become whole and complete where those of us who love giving also learn to love to receive because it's giving other people the opportunity to love to give, right? So that's that's where it's important uh, and, and to get away from our self-worth issues that are preventing us from receiving, which is preventing us from allowing other people to give to us, which is not very beneficial for our society. Anywho, that's another rave for another day. <laughs> I'm going so far over time. It's ridiculous, especially when I don't really have the time. Much, much love. Namaste. Um, love to you all. Speak to you soon. Bye for now. Finish button. It's so funny.